So in this short video, I just wanted to talk through some formatting and editing that you can do in your Excel workbook. We'll look first of all at number and currency formatting, then look at dates and text. So there's various ways to change a number, the look of a number. So in this example here, 45,000, if we wanted to have a comma, uh, um, let's say it's called a separator, or we wanted decimal places, or we wanted to add a pound sign, there's various ways to get to the same point. So in this example here, we want to format A1 as a number with a separator, the comma. So I'll click on that number. Now you'll notice here I'm in the Home tab and we're going to look at this section here, the number section. There's quite a few quick things that can be done just there from the ribbon. So let's say, for example, we wanted to put in a separator. When we put it in and format it this way, it will give us the comma, but it does give us two decimal places. But we can then use the either add or, or deduct number of decimal places using these buttons. So this one, going this way, takes it off and this adds it in. We could have, instead of that, we could have um, gone into um, the drop down here and clicked on number, but again, we'd have to make some changes. Or we go into the dialog box that gives us everything in the same place. So in this case, we want number. We don't want any decimal places. I'm just taking it down and I want the separator. You can see in the sample box what it's going to look like. And if you're happy with what you see, you can press OK. Same for the next one, let's say it wants currency and no decimal places. Click on the number, check if we want to the, the downward arrow. If we see, we can either click on currency here or we can go into number and currency here and we can take off the decimals first. Keep the pound sign. There are lots of different symbols, none or various countries, probably every country in the world actually, and then press OK. All right, you'll get this practice file and if you work down it, you'll just get to see practicing using the dialog box or the drop down or the icons or even you can right click and then you'll get back to format cell. So that is where you go if you want to do some formatting to numbers and currencies and in fact dates as well. So I'm moving on to the next sheet along the bottom here. All right, and just to give you an example of dates can be shown in different ways. So this particular date with the forward slash with the date, the month, the year in numbers, if I was to look up um, at the drop down option, you will see that is a short date. If we wanted to show as a long date, we can go up to the drop down and pick long date. If you want it to be a different kind of format, so the next example, we want it with full stop, dots in between, we can click on the date. This time we need to go into the dialog box and you'll see there the date, we've got the option there, there's full stops there. If you wanted to be a bit clever in that and you wanted to specifically show something, so let's just say we want to show 31 and the word July, um, typed out in full, and then the, the year 2020, I could go up to my dialog box and I could look at custom. And if I was to type in, all right, DD gives me the 31 and then M, 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 M will give me the full uh, month spelled out and then we could do the Y, Y, Y. It could be done that way. So you've got the, the custom option as well. And if not necessarily you would turn this into uh, the US format, but maybe the US format, it, it's been set to the US format and you want to change the date back, is if that is the case, back the dialog box and then if we look at, um, you'll see the date there and it's got here at the bottom, local location, it's set to um, um, UK, but you see there that um, if we look down here, if you click to the US version and press OK, it will give you the date the way they do it, which, well, I think it's back to front, but you know, it's the way that they do it. And then to go back to, cha to change that, um, I'll go back to my locale and I will go change it back to the UK and it'll set it um, the right way around. Moving to my third sheet, text. 
this is just to show you and I'm in the home tab and I'm now looking at the font very much like Word very similar that you of course can make your text your font you can change your font to make it um, you know bigger you can make it smaller you can do all the things you would do in Word Excel also has the function where let's say here the, the big capital A you can make it bigger it goes up by two points or you can make it smaller um, so you got the option there. We've also got the font style, so if you don't like the style there, you can change it to whatever it is that you, you would prefer. Maybe that's not the best look, maybe make the font bigger there. You can do it that way. Now if you wanted to change like the whole sheet, see up the top here between the column A and the one, there's like a, a grey triangle. If you click on that, that's you now highlighted your entire sheet. So whatever you do now, the whole thing will change and it's very helpful actually if perhaps you're maybe creating a spreadsheet and you've got a lot of data and you want it to be the same throughout. That little half triangle uh, allows you to do that. I'm going to make this smaller, that doesn't look very good here. And then of course we have got, let me get smaller again here, that we can then think about, you know, you can add the paint pot is the, the background shading, you can change the colour with the A and the line underneath it, change the colour of your um, your font. There's lots of things you can do to really improve the look of your, um, um, your, your data. We've got here price, now something else that's quite helpful, you can actually change the direction of the text. So let's say here, if you look up now, we're in the alignment, we're still in home tab, we're under alignment, and here we have this AB and the blue diagonal arrow. If I um, go to the drop down option there, it actually says how do you want to show, do you want it to go, you know, which way do you want to go, clockwise or anti-clockwise, or do you want to make it vertical, how do you want, how do you want to do it. That's quite helpful if you're trying to keep your columns quite narrow. But there's quite a lot of things you can do here with the direction of your text. Text. You've also got the option, as always, in your dialog box, click on it here and alignment, um, it does allow you to make the changes to your um, to the direction of your text. Something else that's quite helpful, so I know we know how we could, you know, we could highlight all this and we could go up to number and we could go up to currency and make it all the same. What you could do another way is using the format painter. So let's say we take the first the flat white, it's £2.85, I'll make that into a currency with a pound sign, it's purple, I like the look of that, that's fine, I'll maybe make it bold, lovely. Click on that cell, click on the format painter up the top, and then literally you're painting down and it will change everything into the format that you like. So Excel is brilliant because there's always options with everything that you do. Now, moving on to the next sheet, alignment. This is when you have data, text or whatever in a cell and you want to change the position of it. And where you go for this is still in the alignment section of the home tab. Now you'll see here, this section here, this is where you can change the essentially the positioning, the alignment of where the text is. So for example, Monday you'll see is set at the bottom and the left of the cell. So I could move that to the centre, bottom, the right, bottom. Okay, back to where I was. Or if I want the text to be at the top of the cell, I could click on the top of the cell and it's left, centre, right. Or if you wanted to centre the whole thing, you could say I want it um, middle align and centred. So just with these six little icons here, you can chop and change and move things around and align the information the way that you want. Another little thing that might be helpful is, let's say we've got quite a big cell here and we want to move it along just a little bit. We, we just want to um, um, indent it ever so slightly. So I've clicked in the cell and if you come to the right of what we were just doing before, this two icons, there's a blue arrow going left, there's a blue arrow going right. 
if we did the blue arrow going right, the increase indent, it just takes it a little bit away. You'll see there, move your content farther away from the cell border. So maybe you don't want to center it, maybe you just want to move it just ever so slightly, just to get it slightly away from your cell. That is how you do all within the alignment section. Moving on then to uh, sheet five, uh, how you wrap text and you shrink text. So for example, here, column C is, uh, is too wide. We don't need it for the dates, but when we narrow the cell, all right, the dates are fine, but the, well, in this case, actually, it's, it's wrapped for me. I'm going to have to um, unwrap that. Let me just quickly go back and uh, unwrap that. So what you should have seen, I'm so sorry, what you should have seen is um, it looks like this. All right. So um, you, you know, you've narrowed, you've narrowed for the dates, but it doesn't work. All right. So what you need to do is click on the column where you, this section C1 is where you want to wrap the text. And within the home tab and alignment, we've got here wrap text. So I'm going to click on that and now you see what you saw at the beginning, but this is what it should have done, is now we have it essentially on two lines. You've wrapped the text and it has allowed you to make your um, your column narrower. So that's wrapped text. If you didn't do up this way, back to your dialog box and you'll see there that this is tick now, this is wrapped text, that is another way to do it. You might want to shrink the text, yes, of course you go back and you could just, let's say, let's just make the font smaller. I want to keep the, the column the same size. We, of course you could do that. But there is a function. It's not here. It's not readily available, but it is in the dialog box that we could just say shrink to fit. Let Excel decide how it's going to make this fit into the column width that we have. And that is how that would work. So that is wrap and shrink text. And then the last section for this training video is going into merge. And this is, if you look at this example here, so, you know, we we need week one, week two, week three, week four, we need that in separate um, cells. But I want, say, sales, the heading, to sort of cover all four weeks. So what we can do is merge the cells. I would click on A1 and I would highlight B1, C1 and D1. And we've got a very quick box up the top, merge and center. Click straight on it, boom, it's worked. All right, you could do the same thing, say for purchases, we could go to alignment, dialog box, we could choose merge cells, click OK. Only difference is you would then have to center it yourself if that's what you wanted to do. So highlighting the cells that you want to merge into one so we can merge and center and that is what it looks like. And just while we're here, uh, we're just going to remind ourselves of how you would add borders. What you're seeing is the grey. You're seeing that's all grid lines, the faint grey lines that won't print unless you tell it to. If you want to put borders around your work, you have to highlight where you do want your borders. I'm still in the Home tab. I'm going back to the Font section. And this, this box here, this is where you can do all your borders click on it, you'll see the various options that you have. And in fact, if you go even further down, um, you've got different line styles and more borders. And you can bring up the dialog box where you can start looking at how you want your um, your, your, your your boxes to look with your um, your borders. So quite a bit in here. You'll notice again, we are in format cells again, like we were for the number and alignment. We have font here and the border and fill. So a lot of um, things we can do within the format cells. So that is the main ways that you can format and edit um, a worksheet. Hope that helps.